I'm Dana Tyler. It's been a volatile afternoon with storms moving quickly across the tri-state area, bringing torrential rains and high winds, low visibility. Take a look at this video somebody posted on Instagram. Look at that big, massive cloud cover, right, Lonnie? L moving across Manhattan today, completely obscuring it. Here's a scene from Mobile 2 this afternoon on the West Side Highway. Um, traffic moving slowly. You can see water pooling. The windshield wipers getting a workout. And here's a picture taken in New Jersey. Big dark clouds as the storm moved over the Jersey Turnpike. All right, so now that the storm has passed, the flooding is a problem. We have pictures here, video shot, cars stuck in high waters in Jersey City. Lonnie Quinn is here right now. Also, some of us, we've got the sun back too, but we've got to talk about the details. Behind Behind this line of storms, the weather gets so nice out there. Now, you just showed us, Dana, the flooding problems out there. Yeah, at times you got a foot of water on the roads. Well, we didn't pick up a foot of water, guys. But the problem is, we picked up an inch in about 15 minutes. All right? And it just, it, it just overwhelmed the system. You just couldn't be absorbed into the ground. You don't want to get rain. Even though we need the rain, you don't want to get it that quick and having nowhere to go except pile up on our roadway. So what we deal with right now, that line of storms, okay, it extends from, it's outside of our area in Fairfield County, but it's into New Haven County up around Waterbury, Connecticut. My mom lives right there in Cheshire. Anyways, the line stretches over to, to Suffolk County. And notice this cell, okay? All of the lightning strikes pushing in the direction of Fire Island, and watch all the lightning strikes now fading away. That is the exact same cell that rumbled through Warren County at 3 o'clock this afternoon and prompted a tornado warning. What we currently see, if you're catching rain in Suffolk County, it's being pushed off to the east. Give yourself 10 minutes. It's moving that quickly. It has put rain down at four inches an hour at times. Lightning strikes, 300 strikes per hour. Winds have been as strong as 60 miles per hour or more for some of you. Uh, hail about a half an inch or so. Bigger picture is going to show you. It's a much better looking shot for your day tomorrow. I'm not going to rule out a chance for a shower, but it's actually below 20% for tomorrow. It's a hot one, 93 degrees. There's a heat advisory with the temperatures feeling much hotter than 93, but the humidity actually starts to drop a little bit. We got lots to talk about a little bit later, Dana, but let's go back to you. Okay, thank you, Lonnie. See you in a few. This storm dumping several inches of rain in New Jersey just a matter of minutes, as Lonnie said. Flash flood waters on Janelle Avenue trapped two drivers in Jersey City. Uh, one woman uh, we spoke with tells us she had to wait more than 30 minutes before she could get out of her car. 911 just said, get out of the car. How am I going to get out? There's water all over. Suddenly, the cloud and the darkness, just once in a row, like within five minutes, then... Everything like a heavy, heavy rain. Tow truck operators eventually coming to Tunnelly Avenue to help the women. Drivers in the area tell us that Tunnelly Avenue floods frequently. The heavy downpour and the force of the strong wind gusts uprooted dozens of trees across the area as well. CBS 2's Vanessa Murdoch joining us live from Livingston, New Jersey, where a tree fell on a home. Vanessa, anybody hurt? No, thankfully, Dana, nobody was hurt here. And as Lonnie mentioned, it's beautiful out right now, but that was not the case shortly before 4 o'clock this afternoon when a severe thunderstorm came rolling on through. And yes, a tree came down onto the house behind me. It actually took the power lines down as well. So the fire line is up. As for damage to this home, the owner does not believe there's any major structural damage, but the front overhang, she thinks the integrity has been compromised and the gutters have also been torn off. So certainly some good news that she is not heard here at home. And you know what? About a mile away, also in Livingston, another homeowner is also dealing with a mess this afternoon. She told me the sky turned black and the wind started cranking. That's when a third of a massive tree came crashing down through her roof. I was afraid to go near the windows. I heard a huge, huge crash and I heard glass break. Uh -oh. So what, what was broken? The tree went through the roof of the house and then the water started coming in through the attic. Now that homeowner, Mrs. Ackleson, tells me that she is still a little bit shaken up tonight, but thankfully she's otherwise okay. As far as the winds go, they were likely gusting at 60 to 70 miles per hour to take these trees down across Livingston, New Jersey. I'm live in Livingston, New Jersey. Vanessa Murdoch, CBS 2 News. Thanks.